Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Infected. So we have had an update and the update allows us to craft a ton and ton and ton of furniture. Um, so let's just have a little look at what all we can craft here in our book. Um, this book, sorry. Placeables, furniture. So in the bedroom, we have a different bed we can craft, some cabinets that actually function for storage, or some of them do. And in the kitchen, we have a different style of prep table that we can get. Um, this one, the tech has not been obtained for this yet, but it's just 10 planks and 10 nails. The same, well, this one actually requires two wooden logs, so it's actually less resources, but you do have to get the tech from this. Uh, and the technology required is only available for purchase from a trader. We have not found a trader yet. Uh, bathroom, we can actually decorate our house now. If we want to put different rooms in the house, we can. There's lots and lots of new living room furniture as well. Uh, there's a dining room furniture. I really enjoy this. Um, it's not just this old standard, um, you know, regular wooden table. We have extra lighting. I don't think this one has been in the game, um, but it is now, and that's great. And then we have just this wooden bench here. We have some decor, which is nice. We have some different carpets, some pictures, paintings, plants that we can um, put up, some vases or vases, uh, ever how you pronounce that, or ever how you choose to pronounce that. So there's lots and lots of different things. There is no longer the light meter. Um, as you can see over here on the land claim pole, the light meter thing is no longer there. Um, so there's that, which is lovely, and I don't mind that at all. I really hated that. That's one of the reasons why I did quit playing this game so early in the season last season. Um, but um, now, hopefully, with everything that has been updated, it'll be a lot better for us. I do actually hate the, the Vambies that have been introduced into the game, and I think they're going back to the old older style Vambies that look more like humans. Um, and I'll really enjoy that if that's the case. There are now going to be hordes every like five days or so, which is nice. Um, if you hear my dog drinking water, I do apologize. He is not feeling well today. Um, he has some teething issues. He's losing teeth. And uh, yeah, there's, there's that going on. He has really been uh, pretty irritable the last couple of days. So, yeah, he's been having some issues with his teeth. He is a puppy, so he is losing all of his baby teeth and putting his adult or permanent teeth, which is going to be painful, I'm sure. He loses about 20-something teeth and gains about 40-something teeth, if you didn't know that. Um, I think that's how it works. From the research that I have done on my own and from talking to other people that have dogs, this is my first indoor dog, guys. It's actually my first dog ever. So, um, yeah, I've been having to do a lot of research on my own. He is now eating, which is great. He's not been eating very well, as you can imagine. His teeth have been bothering quite a bit. I'm just gathering some stone, guys, because we are out of stone in the base, and we are making some iron ingots, which we are desperate for because we uh, want to be able to um, get some more things up and going we need a different or an extra uh, mineral extractor which is nice I don't mind having that I need you guys and that's what we're gonna hopefully work on today is a mineral extractor very very hopeful I can get that done today um, I do have some biofuel but not a ton of it so there is that um, let me just put these guys back and put you guys over here and let me just get that placed. Uh, definitely going to be placing it just right outside. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Placeables. Okay. Uh, that's the oil distiller. Is it in others? Place oil and mineral extractor. I uh, don't want it to look ugly. So I might just place them like right over here. I think this will look nicer. And um, we need 18 iron ingots, 8 planks, and 8 nails. That shouldn't be an issue. Okay, so let's start grabbing some planks from here. 
I do want to take as many as I can because I do want to um, add them all to the ceiling as well. And then I'm just going to place these guys out here. So this is more of the type of game that I enjoy. Uh, definitely enjoy being able to get stuff done. Um, I know that going into the towns now is going to be more of an issue because they are going to be tougher. I do need some more planks. Um, according to the developer notes, they're going to be a lot more difficult to get into the towns. The Vambies are the other type of Vambies, but they do have the more hit points um, the, to deal with. So there's that. Um, very much enjoying the new update, or I think I will when everything sort of happens. I think it'll be a lot nicer, but who knows for sure. Um, okay, so we have this that's empty. Let's just place it over here out of the way continue working on these guys because we really want to finish this up and get the the um, extractor up and going because we need some iron ingots iron fragments the um, the completed ones we need those okay so we have that we only need one more which would be nice let's just put the stick no I know where to put the stick Put it over here in this pumpkin lantern since these do do not add to the light value anymore and they are you know we don't have the light value to have to deal with anymore so that's nice not complaining about that at all okay so let's get this and just looking around for anything extra on the ground guys because we are taking everything that we do find Okay, so a lot of you have mentioned that you don't mind hearing about my puppy. So, yeah, I do I do in include him in these videos quite a bit, actually. So we have planks there. We need lots of nails, lots of clay. We have some clay just over here. And then for the town center, we only need, well, more of the same, planks, nails, and clay. So we're going to have to work on that. That is not something that we're going to get done right away. I do want to attempt to get over to the crocodile area very, very soon. Get that done. Uh, the loom is one of the better techs. It wasn't something that we needed in the very, very beginning. I get that. But it is something that I wanted in the very beginning. So there's that. Okay, so let's do that. Let's put some more stone on here and just keep this going, guys. Uh, this is not something that we were able to do last season because of the light value, which I really thought took away from the game, but I'm very much enjoying this now. Okay, so we need to take as much as we can from here. I'm sure we're gonna be super, super heavy. Well, maybe not. Just add these guys over here. We have 12, we need six more. And we should be able to do that. And then we'll need some nails. And then we should be able to get this up and going, extracting ore. Hopefully it's just iron here, which is what we need desperately. So we need eight nails. Let's go see if we have any nails in our crate over here. Handy dandy crate. We do have some nails. Very, very lovely. I'm just going to close this door because you never know when you're going to get an attack. I think they're randomized again, which I think is a lot better, honestly. So we need some oil. And this says extract only stone. Okay, so if we do extract only stone, we'll get only stone from here. Um, we need oil cans. I think we can use biofuel in these, but I'm going to take the oil just in case. Uh, let's just grab that, get over here, get this done. Yes, this does also use biofuel. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And we have about five minutes before we get our first... And it's very random. We can either get an ore or stone, and that's okay. Hopefully, we'll get some stone as well. And, yeah, that'll be lovely because we do need stone. Let's just go ahead and grab some more stone here. And put you on here and you. And then we are going to place you guys in here. And, yeah, I think that's great. Let's put our nails away. Let's 
do that. Um, we do have some more clay just here, but we don't have enough, of course. We don't have a ton of that. We have plenty of bandages, extra. I'm not complaining about those at all. So let's see what it takes to get the grinder up and going. Okay, because we need that to sharpen our axe, our spear when we actually get one, our pickaxe. So placeables. We have the grinder tech. You have to get that from the town. Okay, so where can we place this grinder? Let's just put it over here for now. Okay, and what does it take? Small stone, we can do that. Planks, we have that. The six iron ingots and six mechanical parts. The mechanical parts we have, the iron ingots, we're working on those. Let's put the biofuel and the oil away as well. Oil cans, biofuel. We have food going bad in our crate. So that's lovely. We can make some more biofuel when we need it. Let's put that in there. Let's grab the planks. I don't know how many we grabbed, guys. Uh, we got 13. A uh, very unlucky number. But that's okay. We'll take it anyway. We'll take the extra one out and put it in one of the houses. We need our iron ingots and we need 10 small stone. Should be getting pretty close to having enough iron ingots to place in there. We have two, four, and then these two will make six, which is nice. So let's get out and grab some more stone. Some more sticks as well. Uh, there's stone everywhere, guys. This is a great location to build in because these resources are very, very plentiful here. We didn't even have to chop down a stone, and we've gotten quite a few already that we just picked up. Um, six, so that's lovely. I mean, I will go ahead and break down a stone if we need it, um, just to keep everything going. Lots and lots of sticks and stones out today. So in almost two minutes, we'll have another or or something, something very random. Okay, let's just light these guys up now because we can. We don't have to worry about them nearly as much. Okay, there's a stick that fell through the earth. I'm not quite sure how difficult that is to fix, but we do run into that issue quite a bit when we're heading out gathering some resources. As you can see, my axe is about um, a quarter of the way broken, and our pickaxe will be getting broken pretty soon because we need tons and tons of clay. So there is that, um, but that's okay, guys. It's not that big of a deal. We'll get our stone grinder, or sorry, our grinder up and going fairly soon. We need some wind turbines, solar panels, that kind of lovely stuff. Um, we do desperately need to get all of that going as well, just so we'll have it. I'm gonna keep doing this, trading things out because we need to get this done. I'm just gonna throw these sticks in here. That's free fuel. Um, let's go ahead and do that. And then let's take these guys and then we'll place them in over here. And now we have our grinder. We need some oil cans as well. I don't think this one we can use biofuel, but I'm not gonna fill it up completely either guys, because you don't use this thing a ton. I mean, we will until we get mock, but um, having that is just way too awesome, guys. Very, very much excited about it. So you just go up to it and right click, and it does in the bottom corner, you can see it's sharpening our axe again. When we get a spear, a steel spear, um, it'll sharpen that as well, and we don't have to worry about it breaking as long as we keep an eye on the durability. Uh, last season, we actually had one to break, and there is no sharpening, sharpening it and getting it back. Um, it just disappears, so there is that. You'll have to keep an eye on that for sure. So we do have this door back here that we are not gonna be using, 
And because I am trying to get this up and going, and with this, we have these railings that we can use now. Let's see, railings. So we actually have these type of railings that we can use now for the stairs. We have the wooden ramp railings as well. I will be using this type of railing this season just so we can have everything to sort of match. I know last season we used the different style, the, um, the roof end cap thing um, for railings. It looked very, very nice. This season we are gonna be using this um, type of railing though, just so everything will look the same. Uh, we are gonna try to figure out how to put a porch or a deck around this area as well. And probably it's gonna have to look rounded like that as well. Not that big of a deal, guys. We will make it work. It'll look great. I'm very excited about the decorative items as well. Uh, we have not had a lot of that in the past, and I'm very excited about it. I can't wait to get started decorating. It's not very, very expensive either. I mean, you know, there is some things that are probably going to be expensive, but it doesn't appear like um, just the, the cabinets and that type of stuff is some of those that's gonna be expensive. Okay, so we do need logs over here, guys. These um, places for Mike do require quite a bit of resources, and that's okay. I mean, we'll get there. Um, so we are working on trying to get an ore from here. Um, so we'll get there eventually with that as well. I'll just have to let it run and do its thing. So we're going to go ahead and swap this out again. And this is basically what we've been doing for the past day or so. Just keeping, um, just keeping the forge going constantly and getting everything that we do need. We do need to place another extractor into the cave system, guys, so that we can get iron and cobalt and um, I think aluminum and copper as well in there. So we are going to, you know, continue working on more of these so that we are able to get that done also. I did turn the bones that I had into these uh, bone shards, which allowed me to craft a bone spear. I was told those are better. I'm not sure how much better, but I was told that those are better and I should be keeping the bone shards when I found them in the town. Um, honestly, guys, it was something that I just completely forgot about, really. So there's that. These don't add to the light value anymore. Um, I don't know if the light value still exists in the game. It's just not predominantly shown on the screen. I'm not sure how that works uh, anymore. So you'll have to forgive me on that. And if anyone has any information on that, I would love to hear it. I don't mind. Um, I like knowing how things work. So there is that. Uh, let's go ahead and get this done as well. Come on. Two... So it's just two all the way around now or two sticking out this direction. So it's three actually. Okay, not bad, not bad at all guys. We are about to get our first um, story of this place done and I don't mind. I'm very excited about it. I'm not sure if there's noise value in the game anymore. I don't have any idea guys. Just going around, putting in the planks that we do have on our inventory that we could fit. Because there's not a ton that we can fit in there at the moment. Three, we have those. We stopped here. Very, very nice. Getting these in here is great because it only takes two logs per um, ceiling piece. So I only need enough for one more, I think. I think both of these were done. Nope. One more. Okay, and did we get you? We did. How about you? Yep. Okay, so now the only thing we need is logs for those, and that's not bad. I mean, we have logs here. We did get some logs gathered for uh, planks and things, so that's nice. You know, having that is always nice. Having resources in the base is not a bad thing. That's why Mike is so handy because he would be refilling these as we were emptying them. And that would just be so nice to not have to deal with on our own. Okay, so we have that. Looks a bit different, but that's okay. I would like to show some of the new things, guys, but I don't really have a place to put it yet. 
So, if you came looking for an actual um, update video with, you know, me building all of this stuff, I just don't have the resources for it, guys. We are very, very early into this season. We're on day 12. Um, I could go into creative mode and show you guys this, but I really just don't like creative mode at all. Really, really annoyed by it most of the time. Okay, so we need water. Water is something that we're out of currently. I mean, we could eat these cucumbers and that might help for just a moment. But we're completely out of water, so I'm gonna have to deal with that as well. Grabbing water from over here. Let's go ahead and do that. Just add water and then we'll take this back. I'd really need to get some aluminum, guys. Aluminum is great. It allows me to craft the bigger flask. I uh, wouldn't mind that at all. Okay, so you and you, and then we'll just refill these guys. And then when this is empty, guys, we're going to have to turn the forge off for a bit because I don't have any more stone. I'm going to have to head out and gather some stone as well. Um, there is plenty across the stream, so we don't have to worry about it nearly as much as uh, one would think. There's definitely plenty of it over there. Uh, probably plenty of it in that direction as well. There looks like there's some type of vegetable over here. Some more cucumbers, not bad. So I've not seen any of the new Bambies. I don't know if it's just back to the old, like the mini boss type. Um, I'm okay with that if that's the case. Um, not quite sure how difficult the hordes are going to be because there is now hordes, I think. So there's that. Uh, let's just get back in here and get some water cooking. We need to refill this, I think, one more time. Yes. I'm going to start uh, complaining about being thirsty again. So let's just do that. And then we're going to get one more flask full of water, a canteen full of water. And then we are going to get this cooking. But I think our day overall, guys, has been very, very productive. Um, it's not been super, super productive, but it's been pretty good. I'm very excited about the progress we've been making so far this season. Day 12, and we have quite a bit of stuff completed. Um, quite a bit of tech we have found as well. Uh, let's just make sure that this is completed. And then I don't have any water to turn that off with. Come on, water. We can do this. Almost completed. I'm going to drink some water. Gather another canteen full. Put out the fire because we don't need it anymore. Put out the fire over here as well because we're not using this one either at the moment. And then we are going to just start placing whatever stone we have on here and then we'll fill this up completely first and then we'll fill up our stone basket as we gather more stone not bad day overall guys not bad at all just putting my seeds in here as you can see we do have things going bad this will allow us to to be able to make more biofuel which is nice and that definitely makes a difference when we are working on um when we have the greenhouse up and going because there's just so many vegetables and things that go bad in the town center because of um, Mike helping out with the greenhouse and things because he does a great job with that as well. Um, so I'm just going to gather some stone and then probably work on getting some more planks and I want to try to finish up the ceiling of the base. So I might work on more planks and just getting logs and things in there. Um, so it might be completed when we come back, guys. Don't be surprised if it is. Uh, I just really want to get at, le ooh, that's nice. I just really want to get some progress on the base completed. And you guys have seen me build these tile, the, um, triangle tiles. You kind of know what we're doing with that as well. And that's okay with me. I'm okay with that. Uh, just getting it done would be lovely. So anyway, guys, I am going to go ahead and end this one here. I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate all of your support on this channel and on this series as well. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're looking forward to future episodes. And I can't wait to catch you guys in the next one.
Until then, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day.